Hi guys and welcome to the next video in the 2021 exam series for the Creating Systems to Manage Information paper. We're going to be looking at Activity 6 and we're going to be looking at Question B in this video. So let's look at the actual activity itself. We've got to create an input form to analyse sales and an artist's ratings. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into the creation of this form. In order to create the form, as with the form previously, we're going to go up to the create option. But this time, instead of using the create and using the form wizard, we're going to jump straight into the form design. We want to have a little bit of personalized and customization here. So I'm just going to extend the size of our form in the first instance. And then we're going to go up to our controls tab. The first control that I'm most interested in pulling over onto our form is the combo box. We're going to select the combo box and drag it out to where we want it and the size we want it to be. And in our dialog box that we get displayed, I'm just going to choose to get the values from another table. The table that we're going to choose is table artist. And when we're in there, we're going to choose the artist's surname. Once we drag that over, we're going to click next. And you may notice that if we go through, we've got our option that to hide the column key that's showing the primary key. And we want to keep that ticked. But we can just see there that the primary keys are there. We're going to be using those later. We're going to click next. And then we're just going to change our label to be artist space surname and finish. So let's run that form and we can see when we use the drop down box, we can see all of the names of the users or the artists inside of our system. But we're not done yet. So let's go back to the design view and we're going to change a few things in our property sheet. By default, if we scroll up to the top on the all tab, the name will be combo zero. We want to give it an appropriate name. So in this instance, we're going to call it CBO to represent combo. And then we're going to put an underscore artist surname. This is important because we're going to be referencing this later on in some of our text fields that we're going to create. So we can see there that there is our combo artist. As you can see here from the data tab, you can see that this is using a select query in order for us to gather all of the information from that table. This is important because we're going to be using this later on. Notice that the column is bound to column one, which is where our ID number is stored, but it still represents the name, which is meaningful to us when we use the dropdown. So we're going to go and jump into the controls area again. We're going to drag a text box in this time, and we want this text box to equal some values. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to create an equal sign to say that this text box will equal and then I'm going to do a domain lookup or a D lookup. I like to refer to the D as data for use of fees. So I'm going to go data lookup and then I'm going to put some parameters in. I want to look up the artist's email. It's very important we put speech marks around this because this is relating to one of the field areas. And then we're going to put a comma, which is going to say where we're going to get that email artist from. So we're going to go into TBL artist and then we're going to use another comma to give the parameters in which we want to use to gather the information. So we're going to be looking for where the artist ID is equal to the combo artist surname. As I mentioned earlier on, the artist surname combo box will drag through the bound column column one, which relates to the ID number. What this is doing is looking at the artist's email where the artist ID is equal to the num numerical value that we've got. We need to do something first of all. We need to create an update. The update allows us, when we use our combo box, when we change the value, it will run a requery based upon the value so that we get the information correct, so we get the right ID. So in order for us to do this, we're going to click on the combo box. We're going to select the events tab, and then we're going to choose after update, which is representative of once we've moved our combo box to select a different record. Once we've done that, we're then going to select the button with the three dots in it and we're going to choose macro builder from the command option inside of our macro what we're going to do is we're going to just choose to toggle down we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to select requery once we're happy with that we're going to click save and close and that should be our macro for now what we're going to do is do a little bit of admin. We're just going to make sure our label on our email lookup is going to be artist email. And then we're going to go and run this just to make sure that it's working. So we're going to click on our view, go to form view, 
and we should be able to see quite quickly when we toggle through the options inside of our drop down box that the value of the artist email changes according to the value of the record that has been selected. But we're not quite finished yet. But we're going to go up to the controls block and we're going to drag another text box area into our form. And as we did before, we're going to use the equal sign and we're going to use the the decount method and we're going to put a bracket and then inside the bracket we're going to choose to count the artist ID in the table art and we're going to give out where the artist ID is equal to our CBO underscore artist surname close the speech mark and close our bracket. I'm going to edit the text box so that it gives a meaningful message and this is going to be counting the number of pieces of art that an artist has created. I'm going to click on the handle on the top left hand side just to drag the label over a little bit. And we can see when we choose any of the artists that the artwork value changes. We're going to go back into the design view and we're going to add another text box. This time we're going to use the decount and we're going to put our parentheses in again. And inside our speech mark, we're going to grab the art ID from the table art. And we're going to look for where the artist ID is equal to our CBO underscore artist surname combo box. And we're going to add another value here. And we're going to be looking at the status of their artwork. And we're going to be looking for the status to be sold. And we're going to put the value of sold in single speech marks. And then we're going to close our speech mark and close the bracket. Again, as before, we're going to change our label so that it has something that's meaningful. And we're going to put in here number of art sold or something along those lines. And then we're going to run. And we can see here that we've got six and I'm just going to go through all of the records and see if I can find one where there's a slight difference. And we should be finding one to go to the top. And if we try there we go. We can see there the number of artwork and the number of artwork that they've sold. We're going to go back into the design view and we're going to add another text box and we're going to be looking for the minimum price for a piece of artwork sold. So we're going to put in here equals D min and this time we're going to be looking at the sell price or selling price from the table art where the artist ID is equal to, yep you guessed it, artist surname. We'll close the speech mark, close our bracket. We're just going to change our label again. And this is going to be the lowest price. And we're going to run that. We can see we've got an error here. Errors aren't bad things. Obviously, it tells us that we've done something wrong. Let's just look at our command that we put inside of our text box. We've got our selling price, which is a correct spelt right. We've got our table art which is spelt right and then we've got our where artist ID is equal to artist surname. Now you might be able to see it, I've just seen it myself. I forgot to put the CBO underscore in front of the artist surname in the final statement. As you can see from the value at the top, we've got CBO underscore artist name and I haven't done it inside of this one here. So I'm just going to add that in and we'll see if that works. So let's go to the form view and there you go. We can see that we've got our lowest price and if we change the value, we can see that that value changes. But actually, if we look at it, it's, it's not really a currency value. So we're going to go back into our design view. We're going to select that text box and we're going to go over to the property sheet. The property sheet has the format option and we're going to choose currency. 
this should allow us to have that pound symbol in front of the value and there you go we've got our, also got our um, decimal places as well so that's the lowest price so let's look at adding the maximum price so as we've done before we're going to create a text box we're going to drag it in and that text box is going to equal the d max and it's going to be almost identical to what we've done in the previous one so we're going to look at the selling price field from the table art where the value of artist id is equal to the combo surname Oh, I've got an error message. I can see that I've got a problem here. Ah, I've missed my speech mark. So I'm just going to go and click OK on that. I'm going to put my speech mark in. And then I'm going to click off. That's, that should be fine. And then I'm going to change my label. And we're going to add highest price. I'm just going to click off. We're going to go to the view. Just make sure it works. Yep, it's working. Uh, and again, we've got the wrong uh, formatting there. So we're just going to go back to the design view. We're going to select that text box and use the format option and then use the currency option from that. Let's run it again just to check, just to check and make sure. Yep, that's fine. And we're going to move back to the design view and we're going to carry on. So now we've got our min price. We've got our max price. We're going to add one more thing down the bottom. So we're going to drag in a new text box. And that text box is going to equal D sum bracket. And we're going to look at the selling price. And I need to make sure that I've got my speech marks around that. And I'm going to get that from the table. So comma speech mark table art. And I'm going to get it where the artist ID equals CBO underscore artist surname. And we're going to have, have another statement in here. And the status is going to equal, and we're going to put our value inside of single speech marks. And it's going to be sold. Make sure we put that as a capital S. And close that single speech mark, close the speech marks again, close bracket. And then we're going to just change our label before we go and preview to see how that's looking. And we're going to change that to be total cash from sales. I'm just going to click off and drag again using the little handle on the top left hand side for the label. Move it over so it's not overlapping. And we're going to view it. And yep, we can see there's a value in there. I'm quite happy with that value. But again, it needs to be formatted. So we're going to go back into the design view. Click on the field area. Choose the format. Select currency. And then we're going to preview it. And yep, I'm happy with how that's looking. Next, we're going to put something up in this area here. Which relates to the star rating. So we're going to go inside of the design view again. And we want this to be a drop down because it has been requested, as you can see in the question paper down below. And we're going to add a combo box. We're going to drag that in and try and align it up with the rest of the area. And this time I'm going to type in the values that I want. Click on next. And in the beginning part of our exam paper, it tells us the values that we can go up to. And it's one to three. So I'm just going to add those values in here. And then we're going to go and choose store that value in the field artist rating. I'm going to give a label for my combo box and the combo box is going to be having a label of rating. Click on finish. And we're just going to do a little bit of housekeeping, dragging that over, making sure that things aren't overlapping. So it's got a little bit of order to it. And then we're going to go and view it and see what it looks like. 
as you can see when we cycle through the names in the artist name we can choose one and we can see the artist rating we can select the artist rating we want to do and if we're just going to change this one here from one to two and we're going to open up the table just to check to see if that's being pulled through so we can see yep that the number 31 surname had been changed to number two we're just going to do that again just to make sure that it's working properly so we're going to choose 31 and this time we're going to change it from two to three we're going to change it again we're going to open up the table again and yep as you can see here we can see that the artist rating has changed from two to three and that completes the question b of activity six don't forget to save and thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.